Hey guys, Cynical here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be a better hardcore wizard on Diablo 3 Seasons. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm actually a really high ranked wizard right now and I'm going to be showing you guys the play styles and like the gems and like pretty much the tactics that you need to do in these graders to be able to push solos and try to get up on the leaderboards. Alright guys, the first thing I want to show you is the legendary gems that I use in my Firebird setup. The first one I'm going to show you that I use is the Poison Gem. What's going to happen, it's going to put a Poison Dot on your target. It's going to take a lot of damage as well as uh, take 10% increased damage from all sources once you get the legendary gem high enough. The second one I'm going to show you is the Zay Stone. This is going to be a huge part of your Firebird's kiting uh, tactic pretty much. What's going to happen is the further you are away from your target, the more damage you're going to take. So if you have the infinite Firebird dot on your target already, your dot's going to update dynamically, which means you don't need to reapply to the dot or anything like that. It's just going to scale off your distance and make your, your the targets take more damage pretty much. And the last gem I want to show you guys is going to actually be a defensive gem. I actually personally love this gem. I don't see many people using it, but it's the Esoterics Alteration. What's going to happen with this gem is pretty much you're not going to take any more magical damage from any sources. This includes monster affixes such as Thunderstorms, Jailers, Electrified, Poison, pretty much anything. It's going to be a reduced amount pretty much. And then after you get it to rank 25, once you get below half, your raised distances are practically doubled. So on top of being immortal to elements, you're going to be even more immortal. So it's going to help so much with your Firebird's kiting and you pretty much don't ever proc anymore due to elemental damage. All right, and as you can see here, my build is pretty standard for Firebirds. We just got the, all the fire spells on your Black Hole, your Blizzard, Hydra, as well as your Teleport with Safe Passage, which is extremely important. Uh, magic Weapon, more damage, and Energy Armor. I like Prismatic Armor for increased resistances, you know, because I like not taking damage. And for the passives, you got the Blur, Unstable Anomaly for your proc, Evocation for reduced cooldown and black hole, as well as Teleport, and then Illusionist, which is the, probably the best passive you can have aside from Unstable Anomaly. Alright, and we're just going to get started here. We're going to do a 41 Trial Stone, just to, we're just going to see how it plays out. Alright, so pretty much the first thing mindset right here is you're going to get your buff ups, of course, immediately. And then pretty much the playstyle that you're going to want to do is very aggressive playstyle. It's going to be a kiting forward build, so your Firebird's dot initially does infinite damage. So as long as you get the dot up on all your targets, you're going to be able to kite forward and kite back, do whatever, that those mobs will die. So you don't have to do any more damage to them, they'll just die over time. So the goal for the Firebird's wizard is you're going to want to try to pull as much stuff as you can, get your dot up on as many... Uh, many things as possible here, including pulling as many champs packs as possible, because that's going to be what's going to help your progression in these greater rifts. As you can see, they drop those purple orbs, and each orb is worth 1% bar, so every time you kill a champ pack, on top of like the 2-3% it gives you, just from killing it and its minions, it, as well as it gives you 3 more percent. So the more champs pack you kill, the better. Especially for a wizard, like if you can keep pulling them forward, you don't have to do anything else with them. You kill white mobs, you kill whatever, and you'll get the, the bonus experience from... Uh, you know, killing the uh, champ packs and champ, champ packs and elites. And as you can see here, it's more for hardcore. It's not like super, super aggressive. Like on softcore, you can just play kind of, you know, pretty much dive in head first, not have to worry about anything else. Um, just kind of go for it, you know. But on hardcore, you're going to have to do, you are going to have to kite back a little bit because, you know, there's the risk of dying, which you don't want to do. But with the playstyle and like all the defensive gems and everything like that that I use in the setup that I run, I don't really worry too much about it. Um, you do have two passives. You have your Unstable Anomaly, which procs first, which is really useful because it's only a 60 second cooldown, as opposed to the Firebirds, which is three minutes, or not three minutes, I'm sorry, uh, five minutes for a cooldown. So as long as you, you don't proc your UA, you can pretty much keep pulling forward and you know just making sure you're not in any danger of proccing or instant proccing and then you want to be able to get out as soon as you can so that's why you got your teleport your safe passage it's got the bonus uh damage reduction so you can kind of just go through and you know not take any more damage from like the range arrows or any kind of like you know monster affixes or monster punches or anything like that you, you can just uh take the reduced damage for that so you can continue to kite forward and uh this level kind of sucks um it's kind of small so you can't really kite forward you kind of got to wait until everything's dead but as you can see they're right after floor one kiting ahead and pulling pretty much all the room and pretty much two pulls put me well ahead of the timer here on a 41. yes my gear is uh kind of a little bit far ahead than your average uh hardcore player but you you can take these tactics and go ahead and try them on your own rifts on whatever you feel comfortable with whether it be in the mid 30s mid 20s in the 40s as well whatever but with these play styles you should this should help you push the leaderboards and be able to be a better be a better hardcore wizard pretty much
this map here, I kind of got unlucky and unlucky at this, lucky and unlucky at the same time. Um, this is a really large map. Um, there's a lot of mobs, but it's very, very straightforward. There's not too much room for kiting. Like, yes, the density is really, really good. I, get, I got pretty decent mobs here, but with narrow passages, it kind of makes it a little sketchy. Because you, you need broom to kite around, kite in circles, kite, you know. So they all group up, you throw your black hole down, get your dot up on them as much as possible, as well as, you know, make them take that additional damage. And then once uh, everything starts dying, you can continue to kite forward and pull more things, pour more champions. Pretty much this is how it goes throughout the entire rift. Um, one good thing here is you can see I got a power pylon. Um, you want to save those for the rift guardian. Like those power pylons and conduit pylons are going to help you so much with the rift guardian. It's going to shave a couple minutes off your kill. So whenever you want to run into those, what you want to do is you can, as you can see, I skipped a lot of mobs. I'm actually teleporting forward. So they stop following me. Um, and with the firebirds dot, you can reset the dot. If you go more than I believe two screens away from the mobs, uh, the uh, firebirds that will drop off so you won't actually kill them but you're saving those mobs for later so as soon as you get closer like 98 99 percent of the progress done right before the rift guardian spawns you teleport back you kill those mobs right next to the pylon the rift guardian will spawn right next to you you activate the pylon and you proceed to you know crush a skull in or whatever you want to do however you want to do it so whenever you run into the power pylons conduit pylons you want to absolutely save those for the rift guardian if you uh find a couple of them right next to each other that's even better, but if you find some that's super spaced out, you can use one of those pylons to help you clear the trash a lot faster, and then use another pylon to help you kill the Rift Guardian. Because essentially, you'll really only need one pylon to help you kill the Rift Guardian to shave off a couple minutes off your time, which is going to be extremely helpful. But as you can see, even if you don't, if even if you're not lucky with pylons at all, like using this tactic, you'll still save tons of minutes on the trash, so you still will be able to clear these greater rifts in a, in the time uh, the time that you need. So they're not completely necessary, but they do help. And like I said before, the, fi the Firebird Wizards is pretty much non-stop. With you stacking as much defense through the gems that I showed you before with the Esoterics, with your Blur... Uh, you know, having vitality on your gear, all resistances, armor on your gear, having all that stuff. It's going to help you push further into these rifts because the only thing that slows you down during these rifts as a wizard is um, pretty much having to kite back because your UA proc or, you know, your Firebirds proc. Pretty much if your Firebirds proc in a rift, unless you're pushing for rank one, it's pretty much over. You should just back out, quit the game, restart it, game over, start a new rift. It's a lot better than killing your character for trying to clear a Greater Rift 37 because you're trying to level up a couple of gems. It's just not worth it in general. So you continue to kite forward. Got a lot of mobs. As soon as most of the mobs start dying, um, just keep kiting forward. As soon as the champ packs die, make sure you keep note of that just so you can run back, grab those, uh, grab those orbs, get those extra 3%, and keep going forward. I got kind of lucky with this rift, as you can see. There's tons of mobs, super good density. The mobs that you really want to get in your rifts that you're looking for if you're trying to push for rank 1 or higher, or I'm sorry, you can't go higher than rank 1, but if you're just trying to push really high on the leaderboards, uh, you want to find mobs that are super, super easy to kill and worth a lot of experience. For instance, all Act 1 mobs. Anything Act 1 is really, really, really good. Um, the worst ones that you can get are Act 5, uh, but... You're looking for Act 1 mobs, essentially. They're super easy to kill. Uh, they're all melee, which is really, really easy for kiting. Uh, with, if you have a string of ears, you take 30 plus uh, d reduced damage for melee attacks, so that's going to be really helpful for this. And as well as, like, as you can see there, I grabbed a speed pylon, and especially with all melee mobs, you can just run through the mobs. It knocks them up and stuns them for a short duration, as well as does a little bit of damage. But it's pretty much there for the CC. So you can pretty much stop all these mobs doing whatever that they're doing and just... 
annihilate them with their Firebirds dot, and then you can continue to move forward. As well as, it's really helpful if you're uh, trapped in these narrow hallways and your teleport's on cooldown. And the mobs don't hit hard enough to reset your teleport with Illusionist, and you can just run straight through them. As well as a good trick with that is if you black hole a target, it doesn't, the map doesn't count as the mob being there, so with the, the black hole down and the monster inside your black hole, you can actually run through, you can actually run through the mob there. As you can see, I'm really close here, so I'm about 98-99% of my progress. I'm running back right now to the power pylon. I got a few mobs saved up back here. I'm going to try to kill it along my way so I can spawn the Rift Guardian closer to this power pylon so I can save a bunch of time. And then once I get up to the power pylon, I'll finish killing the mobs, aggro the Rift Guardian with the power pylon, do 400% more damage, and it'll help me kill the Rift Guardian about two minutes quicker. Alright, so here we're at Rift Guardians just spawning back at Blighter, which is pretty easy. Uh, you don't want any of the Act 5 Angels. Those ones are really bad, as well as Blood Maw is probably the worst one for a wizard, simply because he can jump off screen and kind of wreck your face and instant proc you, and it can make a good Rift go bad, you know, as quick as counting to three. But with Blighter, you can see my Firebird's not slowly ticking down. I don't need to be near him with my Zaystone doing work. I'll get the Power Pile on, and as you can see, the, the dot updates dynamically, so his health is dropping a lot quicker. And now I can just continue to put extra damage into him, just kill him a little bit quicker. Alright, so with all these tips, kiting forward, getting enough trash packs, getting your dot on everything, and continue to pull forward, just backtracking only if you have too much stuff, if you're a little bit too scared, or if you're going back to collect orbs from champ packs or elite packs that you killed previously. Uh, but other than that, with these just simple ways to play the Firebird Wizard, on hardcore, you should be able to push into at least the high 30s with um, pretty mediocre gear. As long as you got six set Firebirds, you got a decent uh, one-handed weapon or even a furnace uh, you can craft devastators which is an extremely good weapon it's really easy to get ancient since you can keep crafting it get a firebird source pretty much stack as much fire damage and elite damage as you can and then pretty much all these these rift guardians will fall over as well as uh the rest of the trash inside these rifts all right so there it is 41 done we had three minutes roughly three and a half minutes left on the timer we only got one legendary which is pretty crappy but that's all right let's keep going forward we're just gonna upgrade keystone here so i got more keys keystones to go through and yep that's pretty much it so if you guys have any other questions or comments for me or if you guys want to see uh more guide videos on diablo or anything like that just let me know in the comments below make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on twitch at twitch.tv backslash cynical i'm usually live streaming every single day so just you know stop by say hi do whatever but until next time guys have a good one